Here I have a dark side deck for the more modern format. Uh, so it's got virtual cards and defensive shields and all that. Uh, this is a fairly, started out as a fairly basic set your course for Alderaan deck. You try to blow up Alderaan. And after that, you force train with a bunch of Star Destroyers. And anytime you deploy a Star Destroyer, you uh, retrieve three force. The wrinkle added to it that I wanted to get going was you use this effect to deploy devices from your lost pile onto the table. And then you use Weapon of an Ungrateful Son to place all your devices and character weapons on table in your used pile. So it's kind of a, a way to cheat and get around retrieval. I should say cheat. It's a way to get around retrieval, uh, things that cancel retrieval. You can only deploy one device per turn uh, from the lost pile, but the idea was to do that, deploy the device, then deploy to start a destroy and, review, and retrieve whatever is um, below the device. And then after you get three, four devices on table, you play this card. It is a lost interrupt, but it gets three cards back in your deck and um, helps you survive survive a drain race, which is what these decks often end up being. Now, this particular game didn't go exactly along those lines, it, um, but so I didn't really get to use devices. But that was at least the idea, and it ended up having uh, an interesting result anyway. So... Here's the game. It's set your course for Alderaan versus a um, an interesting deck here. So using Ray with the Skywalker Saga. So I got to get systems out. So I, and I got to have my Star Destroyers draw on their own. So it would be nice to start with the Death Star uh, reactor core to get devices out early, um, but just not enough effect slots, and I felt like I needed these ones more. So I'm able to go get the super laser. And I'm able to go get commence primary ignition. I got two weapon of ungrateful sons in hand already, which isn't bad. And I got to get some shields out to grab things. He's got a walkling, so I want to slow down his retrieval. Set your course for all around. Let's me go get a Death Star card. This lets me go get a system. So I'm getting six icons out on the first turn. Which will be good for my activation because this deck needs a lot of activation. And it's important to, to orbit a system because if I get Krennic out next turn, it'll let me peek at the top two cards in my four spouse. There's a device for me. But I don't have the effect out. So there's... No sense in deploying the device yet. Plus, I want to save it for force loss anyways. He does get himself a Hujix. And there comes Luke with his saber. I'm able to get Krennic, which is nice. And then I got a couple Star Destroyers in hand. Would like to get a few more. But next turn, I'll be blowing up Alderaan. And I want to make sure I stay under 14 cards because of a defensive shield. I don't mind playing the Imperial Command now, so he grabs it. That way he won't grab a bit of an Ungrateful Son. That's kind of why I did that. Might as well go full screen to see easier. All right. I think in a newer version of this deck, I took out the Death Star conference room. So, especially since he doesn't have a uh, Saitor Kalfas out, I'm trying to make it just harder for him to get his lightsabers. Plus, I'm not getting the devices stuff going that I wanted to. So, that's um, that's uh, not as important uh, to me to have those Weapon of Ungrateful Sons in hand for, for recycling devices. And now he's coming to take the fight to me. I thought he was going to come kill Krennic but he's going for the docking bay. Now he's at one of my sites, which is going to subtract one from my Death Star weapon destiny draw. 
But fortunately, I have a tie sentry ships in hand, so if I draw one of the many ships I have in the deck, I can cancel and redraw. So with a five, that's pretty high. The total was 11. I only needed eight. So that wasn't bad. He's got to lose three fours. Get a little bit more activation out. So I did put that zero back in my deck, which I'm not sure if that was the way to do things. In fact, I pretty probably wasn't a good idea. I should have lost a different card and then lost that one later. But I'm taking some low destinies out of my deck, putting some high ones back in. I know he's got the Falcon, so I'm trying to get ready for that, wherever the Falcon's going to come out at. So he's out activating me now, and here comes Yoda. So he's trying to get two battlegrounds on me, maybe three to limit my drains. Oh, I got to pay to drain. I didn't put that shield up before since I wanted him to have to burn that shield. Plus, if I lose cards, it doesn't really matter all that much because I just retrieve them back when I uh, when I deploy Star Destroyers. Another system out, that's good because I, I just need that activation. Suppose I could have deployed to Death Star for cheaper. Would have saved me one force. Trying to keep those high destiny cards in my deck when I use force. So the Falcon came out there. I don't know if he knew he could pull it directly to the Death Star, but maybe he just wanted to um, get everybody on the site and make sure he had the right guys going up and, and staying down. In fact, I because of a I was a little bit surprised to see what happens when I battle him here. He's got some more shields. So I got lateral damage. I got overwhelmed. I'll do a drain of three here. But he only has to lose two. I got Tarkin out. I got Thrawn coming out. Now I can use overwhelmed on him here, but I wanted to um, wanted to make. I mean that makes the Falcon go lost and he's knocked out of space because it makes everything go used. But the Falcon can't go in reserve deck. I wasn't actually expecting a, a, a Skywalker's here, so uh, I was like, oh man, I kind of regret the battle because I thought I was going to way outpower him. And um, he cancels the destiny. I got a four instead, which is nice, but it stinks to lose that five. I got a one, but no worries. I can redraw it. Get another one. Whoops, spoiler. Get another one, but I can redraw that with Tarkin. It's like, okay, man, I'm going to finally draw a nice, nice high destiny card here. And there comes another one. So that was a bummer. But um, three ones in a row, but I get a five at the end. So overall, my total is pretty good. I'm going to way up power him here. Even with this, this nice total battle destiny. So that was my battle, and he's going to counterattack. I get a force push into hand, though. And I've got a couple. Couple things ready to go for him. 
although he does drain me. I'm losing devices, which I don't mind, but I don't have my effect yet, which is a bummer. We have to lose a force when he initiates and he gets to retrieve one. But the good news is I can deploy the accuser for minus three as a react, plus it's minus two, so it's minus five total, so it's only three. Then I can spend three force to retrieve three cards back. So I'm getting some high destinies back in my deck. I got a bunch more power there. And with the fact that he's now knocked out of space and he locked. So even with a one, I still way outpower him. He did draw a total of five for Battle Destiny. So that was a bummer because my stars were immune to less than four, but yeah, he's knocked out of space. Cancels it with Hujix, and then he ended up conceding because I'm going to drain for more than he is. And uh, once I get another Star Destroyer out and Tarkin Doctrine, it, it won't be a, it won't be a very very close game. I don't think I can keep retrieving Star Destroyers. So uh, that was not what I was planning to do with the deck. I wanted to do some more with the devices, but it ended up working out overall. Maybe I should have overwhelmed in there and just uh, sent everything to use pile. Made the Falcon lost, but I wanted to. I thought I was going to wipe out. Uh, wipe out everything anyways in a battle and make those guys go lost instead of used. So uh, that's how that one ended up. Thanks for watching. And I uh, hope you watch some more of my uh, deck review videos. Also, I have some booster pack opening videos if you haven't seen those.